Hey everyone, welcome back. I haven't been doing any videos recently because I've been fixing a vehicle, which isn't fun to watch. It's just my uh, stepkid's car that has 300,000 miles on it and kind of attached to it. So just replaced the timing belt and the oil pump and the water pump and the oil pan gasket and the thermostat and the spark plugs and got it all put back together and then the starter quit working. So now I got a starter in the way, it should be here tomorrow. But I'm gonna take a little break today because I was working on a project, it's got a really tiny screw in it. Uh, I'm not really showing that because that's not exciting either, but it has one tiny little screw and I could not figure out what thread it is. Now I've got some of these bolt checkers and they go down to 632 and M4. So these don't go very small. So I am going to make one that goes from that size all the way down. So I just went to the hardware store, picked up a selection of little bolts. Hopefully they don't fall. I have them kind of stuck to this board here. The light is kind of washing them out. But anyway, here I have M1.6 to 2.53, and then 080, 172, 256, 264, 348, 356, 440, 448, 540, 544. So if this doesn't cover it, I don't know what I've got. So I'm just gonna make a simple little thing. It's gonna be hard to attach those to anything because they're so tiny, it's basically like little pins. So I'm just gonna take an extra piece of wood from my S-Wing hammer video and just gonna put some holes in it and some feet and just kind of make a nice little place to just organize those so that when I'm trying to find a small screw, I can just kind of grab the whole thing, set it on the bench figure out what I need, put them all back in the right hole, put them back on the shelf. That's the plan. This should be pretty easy and quick. So here we go.
All right, there you go. It's not too fancy. But it does the job. Now if I'm trying to determine what one of these little sizes are, I'm gonna pull it out, check it, drop it, lose it on the floor, um, and then return it right back to the hole where it goes. So as long as I don't take out a couple at a time, it'll just go right back where it goes. Now I'm gonna use this for the project I have now, which is these fancy little scissors, antiques from Germany. The screw, I don't know if it worn, backed out, but it was very loose. There was no way they were gonna cut anything and it wouldn't tighten, it wouldn't go in, it wouldn't come out. It was just seized up solid and it was a tiny flat blade screw. I was, I was gonna break the screw or the screwdriver, so I ended up having to drill it out. And I could not for the life of me figure out what that thread is. And I think it's 448. Nothing really fits well, but that seems to fit best. Now I know. Thanks for watching.